So, how to create a rubric on Schoology and why to create a rubric on Schoology. So let's start with how. First you go up to your gradebook and then you're going to go to grade setup. Now, I'm going to create a rubric that is based on a rubric that I already have. This is the rubric that we used last year for the T2 Great Gatsby CA. As you can see, this rubric has three criteria and it's a grading scale of one to seven. Now, I want to convert this rubric into a rubric that I can use on Schoology. So, in Grade Setup, I'm going to click on Add and then Rubric. And what we have here is your basic uh, rubric. So start by giving it a title. I'm going to call this Great Gatsby CA. Now you remember there were three criteria, so I'm going to have to go to Add Criteria, and I'm going to have to add three more. Um, and here, the grading scale, it starts you out with a 1 to 4 grading scale. I'm going to have to increase that as well um, to have a 1 to 7 grading scale by clicking on this plus button that appears when you click on the grading scale. It's all pretty intuitive really. Um, and then I have to number them. So starting here, I'm going to go to 5 and it's going to go to 6 and it's going to go to uh, 5, 1 to 7 scale. Good. All right. So we got to title the different criteria. The criteria were content, organization, and writing. Now, since I already have it made up, all I need to do here is just do a uh, copy-paste into this rubric. So I go to here, the descriptor for a 7 in content, and I paste it in. All right, when you're done uh, doing all that cutting and pasting, you click on Create and you have a rubric. So if you click on rubrics here, you'll see your rubric right there. So now why create a rubric? Um, now there are a number of reasons. You can use it for summative grading. Like for example, this Great Gatsby CA is a, a summative uh, test. Um, so you can use it for summative assessment, but you can also use it for formative assessment. An example of that is this rubric here, which I created for Written Task 1. Written Task 1 is part of the IB Lang and Lit program, and it's something which is externally assessed. So the student does not get uh, a grade from the teacher on this. However, uh, there are certain things that must be done um, before it's sent off for assessment, certain formal criteria, uh, things like writing a rationale, adding a bibliography, uh, having a word count. So what I did was I created this as an assignment and gave it this rubric, which is just an incomplete, complete scale. Um, and this gives feedback to the student that, you know, some of these things are, are complete and some of them are incomplete. You have to go back and revise and add these particular things before it can be sent off. Um, so what happens is when you're creating an assignment, say you're creating an assignment there, uh, how do you add the rubric? Um, all you need to do is go down to scale rubric here and you'll see first your scales and then at the bottom your rubric. So you just apply your rubric and what, what's nice is it lays out the criteria for the student right there. So the student can see content organization writing of the three criteria that they're going to be assessed in. And the other thing which is nice about this is that when you have a rubric, like for example here I have um, a journal rubric, uh, when you are grading a paper, you go up to the corner here, you call up your rubric, and then all you got to do is click, 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 uh, and that's been scored. Okay, so I hope you found this useful and helpful and learned something about uh, how and why to create a rubric on Schoology.